see how cold it is. Look how cold it is. I have my little uh, $10 uh, heater on. I just turned it on. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Also, these lights give me some heat. Check out. Check out what's going on outside. Look at that. Look at that. It's just snow. Snow. So I figured, you know, come in here and uh, do a little something something. I just purchased um, Mod Podge Photo Transfer Medium. So I wanna test this one out. I used the regular Mod Podge and I did this last year. And you see it's missing a little bit of uh, the photo. So I'm gonna try this one out. Everything that I buy, the, like glue, um, acrylic and the stain or any kind of um, paint I take it inside and then every time I come out I bring it in just because it's so freaking cold out here and everything would go bad so I just purchased this one I want to test it out on some of the pictures that I printed out uh, hopefully it works out so I can use my table router to use a, to create nice edges so I purchased these from a uh, Johans, my goal is to like kind of do similar to this so I don't have to purchase these pieces and I can just cut them up from my own wood. So let's get into some of the stuff and see how it goes. I have an image on my knees here. I'm gonna cut this out and then I'm gonna cut a piece of wood uh, that fits this size roughly and then we'll try to transfer it. So this is the piece of wood, this is the picture. I flipped it on the computer before I printed it, so when I post it, it's supposed to, it's exactly the way it's supposed to be set up. So, this is the Mod Podge, and I got this from Joann's. You can also buy this on Amazon. You can also buy it at Hobby Lobby, probably Michael's. Uh, Walmart has it on their website, uh, not at the store that I uh, live at or live by. Um, you can also buy it online at Walmart and pick it up at the store. this to dry uh, I believe let's see if directions say anything no I believe you have to dry this uh, actually for 24 hours so not to risk it I will actually wait that long I'm gonna put this to the side and do a couple more images and see which one comes out to be the best all right so it's the day after it's been 24 hours we have three pictures here we also have this black and white logo that barely fits on this piece of wood. So we'll see how the black and white came out and three pictures in color. Is it frozen? Oh wow. I'm going to wet the paper towel instead because the spray part is still frozen. I'm just gonna Soak it in a little bit. I can use this logo for something. No, I can't. Yeah, wow, okay. 
So these two pictures, before I printed them, I flipped them. Okay, so they come, when they come out or when they reflect over uh, the wood, they would look like original picture. My logo, I didn't. So the whole thing is flipped. So, yeah. Nice little trial, but it ain't gonna work. I forgot to flip this one. All right, so now I'm going to use my uh, Dremel router table and try to add edges on this one, okay? So let's try that. So if you can see here, we got these little edges. It looks pretty nice, I think. Uh, they're not as big as I thought they would be, but it's still much better than whatever it was before. So, and if you want to check out the video on the Dremel router table, please, there's a link down below. Check that out real quick. So here are the pictures. You know what I'm saying? I did the little edges right here. They look okay, not bad. Um, the pictures could have used more, I think, either Mod Podge or maybe more time to dry. Put these little kickstands in the bag just so the pictures can stay up. So this is it. Not bad for a first time. I tried this last year. Uh, it came out okay, but not as good. So this is it. See ya.